Alright, this video is about um, the research chemical known as 2CE. Uh, it is a psychedelic compound made by Alexander Slugin. Um, it is considered one of the magical dozen and for its uh, uh, properties, considering that it um, has high uh, visual effects and um, an extreme um, visual trance as well as a psychological uh, twist to it. And anyway, with any uh, trip report, uh, there's a disclaimer. Um, this research chemical is illegal now and cannot be obtained through the internet. Uh, so, at any purpose, um, this this trip was done over two and a half years ago, and uh, that was when I first started experiencing psychedelics. I um, this came about with uh, one of my friends suggesting that he heard about somebody wanting to sell some uh, 2CE and I never heard about the substance before. I never knew anything about 2CE or LSD or anything like that. Anyway, um, we got uh, a small dose, you know, for the first time that I tried it. So it, I, I, maybe 10 milligrams and was oral dose and I didn't get very much. But, um, but at one point in time when my mother was talking to me out in the patio, I, uh, I didn't know what to say. I just kind of like stood there in a haze and just stared and uh, her around her face everything started discoloring and uh, I kind of just closed the door and walked away and walked towards my friend's vehicle outside and we took off and um, anyway uh, the experience with 2CE and a small dose was rather uh, interesting it just I um, came up with some interesting guitar rhythms on it it seemed to flow together pretty interestingly and fluently, I would say. And then, um, then about a week later, I was going to buy about uh, approximately $60 worth, but um, the dealer only had, for some reason, the bags were empty. And uh, on the outside, there were, um, you know, crystals still left on the bag. So there were three bags, and that was approximately 20 milligrams that I adjusted then, uh, 20 to 25. And at an oral dose, that should be sufficient that I looked it up on uh, Google and um, I was hoping you know to get these effects and then I got home and I first started noticing the I started feeling very very out of place like my body my whole entire um, existence who I was my ego as so to speak was out of place and I looked at my hand and like my hand began to curve and like form into like various concaving and con, you know, vexing uh, uh, patterns and there started to become a meshing pattern in my, uh, on my uh, carpets and then I looked down the walls and all the walls where they met, uh, every seam would uh, start rippling like water, like a very fast, like frequency and um, I started thinking that I possibly lost my mind and uh, well, at that time, I went outside uh, because I wanted to mellow out and I felt like uh, I was being contained. So, I went outside on the patio and uh, there, my mom has uh, solar lights spread out everywhere. There's approximately like 12 of them. And they're, they're all, they were all white, you know, LED fluorescent lights. And at that time, they were all different colors, so very bright fluorescent neon, like oranges, hues of violets, blues, greens, reds, I mean, they were all different colors and all changing and waving in and out at the same time, and, um, at this, at this part, uh, my heart started racing fast, and I remember I, uh, I walked off to, to the edge of the cornfield where, at that point in time, I found myself, um, aware, as to the left of my vision came up what appeared to be a spiraling sort of like looking entity and it came into the center of my vision and expanded dramatically and it was huge in size and just constantly spiraling constantly meshing and moving in uh, different visual patterns and formats of fractal like patterns and I remember then I, I got scared looked up to the sky and I seen the moon in the sky turned into an eye and looked directly at me out of all out of everything the eye was moving and then it just looked at me and I uh, at that point I, I started freaking out I didn't know what exactly to do because at that point 
there was layers of fog that were bright fluorescent hues of different color I mean there were constant geometric patterns moving uh, every step that I took and um, that was the first trip I ever had um, that everything was just completely out of sorts and uh, I remember feeling the next day very uh, alert very focused and very awake and I felt as if so I'd been like a rebirth of some sort like I could go out there and have opportunities to do second chances to be able to go back and analyze things and go back through my life and reflect upon what it used to be and what it can be now and I, I considered it a very positive experience at that milligram dosage and uh, with that I will uh, also add the last trip report that I had um, uh, with 2CE was approximately uh, four to five months after that I taken um, about 45 to 50 milligrams um, and snorted it and I uh, also had taken three Adderall in order to increase the effects because amphetamines with um, with the psychedelic can increase the psychedelic effects and any anyway I um, I I got to the Jeep and after uh, after we took it in the Jeep um, we drove back to my friend's house where I was going to stay and then got dropped off right when I got dropped off I felt uh, immediately my stomach was rising up you know and uh, I started feeling sick and I ran to the bathroom and I remember that right when I opened up the door I had my hand over my face like this and I just threw up I sprayed through my fingers all over the place and onto the mirror and I mean I felt, I felt horrible and I hurried and ran to the toilet and tried to get to the toilet as quickly as possible um, after about five minutes of that, you know, I cleaned up everything and, uh, got out of there and I went back down. And that's when everything started to hit me, is that everything was rippling outward like it was just, uh, underwater scenery. Like, and my body, my ego felt as if so it was intertwined with the environment itself that was behind me and within me and all around me. And, uh, I went into a, a, uh, out-of-body experience for about approximately two to three hours um, and I remember every so often you know opening my eyes to see the walls you know all convex scene and it was very you know very fast and breathing like patterns and it just it overtook me and uh, with every wrong I, I started hearing very strange things I got audio like fluctuations of flangings and then I started hearing something weird that was like uh, you must obey the structure and you must abide by the rules uh... you've been dealt to your hand and you know it was all sorts of things it was like a, i was playing a game or, or something as if i was gambling with my life on this and uh, i went through all these weird insult like inflations and deflations of my body load like feeling very renderous heavy load and like feeling like lead and then light is there and just about to explode and at all this time, you know, I at finally, after about three hours of that, I, I just came to with the overwhelmingly warm sensation in my body and I uh I, I just remembered that everything looked so fluent and so detailed, so bright, so fractal and patternings and looked so beautiful like glass and like sort of uh art, you know, painted on. And um uh, the uh, table that was sitting in front of me is wooden, you know, by the way, and it looked like it was glass, like it was see-through, like I had a pattern on top of it, like paint stained glass, and underneath it, it, it could be see-through, and I could see the ground underneath it, which was very strange. And then I, uh, I got home and took a shower, and the rain, or, well, the, the, the water coming down from the shower was just crazy, just felt every time that I would feel that part like just the, the rain trickling my like, feeling it was like giving me the creeps but also very embracing at the same time warm and um at, th at that night I, I stayed up and I mean I believe the whole night I, I started writing uh, parts of my book uh, in my chapters and I, it was an overall bright experience um, n not at first definitely not at first but uh, I came out all right, and it it turned out to be a very well night. And uh, at this, I will stop this.